the uh, competition between the United States and China, including the trade war, uh, has important consequences uh, in Africa it's beyond the trade war, but the broader competition um, is perhaps welcome in some African countries because they prefer to have more partners competing than uh, not uh, none. So that's a, a factor to take into consideration. So you have uh, different perspectives. Many of the African policy maker will really uh, be interested uh, in uh, receiving multiple partners, whether the United States, China, uh, or uh, Russia, uh, Korea, uh, 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 South Korea, Brazil, India, Indonesia, Turkey. So many of the African leaders are really interested in receiving and collaborating with a broad variety uh, uh, of partners. That is the broader statement. But on the other hand, many African citizens, um, so you will also see a, a split in terms of perspective that the African citizen will have. Some African citizen will think that dealing with uh, uh, partners such as the United States is a good thing uh, because you have a certain level of accountability that you may not always have uh, when you deal with the new emerging partners. For example, if an American is involved in corruption uh, in uh, Africa, uh, the likelihood of being uh, prosecuted uh, when you have evidence uh, is very high compared to some of the emerging partners. So that, that is one of the aspects that some uh, Africans would prefer about partners such as the United States uh, or uh, France or the UK. And um, so the accountability mechanism, the, another aspect is also the quality, for example, of infrastructure, uh, which have the reputation uh, to be of uh, the, so the, uh, the products have the reputation of being of higher quality uh, compared to what some of the emerging partners are doing. But having said that, you also have some citizens, some African citizens who will prefer uh, uh, having as partner uh, China or other new emerging players simply because they see actually roads being uh, uh, built or ports. Uh, so, so they will see concrete outcomes uh, from the uh, Chinese involvement uh, in terms of quantities. And even if it is not always in terms of qualities, but uh, they will overall prefer to see new development than a lack of development. So, so those are, uh, to a certain extent, uh, the, uh, the the perception of African uh, of Africans. But having said that, when uh, the Afrobarometer survey asks a question about the aspirational model of development for Africans, uh, quite a, uh, interestingly, we have seen. Uh, the United States as the first model of development and China as the second. So they are quite close in the heart and perhaps mind of Africans, depending on the countries, of course. Uh, but the, the fact that uh, you have both the American market-oriented uh, economy, uh, free market with a high level of economic freedom, uh, which is considered as the first model by most African citizens, uh, which is considered as first by African citizens, but also the Chinese one considered as second, clearly show also the dichotomy and um, the uh, complex relation that you can have between the between China and Africa.